Hello fellow wastelanders. Today I'm going to show you guys how I was able to make this gazebo. You are going to need a blueprint for a round building. Believe me, I would love to show you guys how to make a round building, but I would just mess it up. There's a lot of videos on how to do that in different sizes. I highly recommend watching one of those and not having me do it because it would come out horrible. I was lucky enough to have a friend build one for me at one of my camps and then I was just able to go ahead and blueprint it. Now the flowers here were pretty important to my gazebo. So I placed it down and those flowers disappeared. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change worlds and make sure that those flowers spawn back. And they did. And that's gonna look really good towards the end. Right now, what we're gonna need to do is make floating roofs. For this size, I was able to put two at a time, putting one directly across from the other one. We're going to need to get a flame trap high enough so that we can destroy those roofs. It is easier to just put it outside right now. So I'm just going to put one on top of another one. And then I'm going to go over to my traps. I'm going to put the flame trap right on top of those guys. I'm going to bring that inside. You just have to walk up close enough to trigger it. You don't have to jump on it or anything. Do it quick enough and you should be able to destroy both in one go. So I just went ahead and did the rest. Towards the end, you should have something that looks like this. I just jumped on top of the roof because sometimes that's just a little bit easier and I wanted to change those into flat roofs. I thought I'd done it before without the atomic shop roofs, but for some reason it wasn't working this time. So what I did was I repaired one of them and destroyed it. So that way I could put one of the atomic shop roofs down just to test it out and see if it was still working. And that did work. So I just went ahead and changed that back into an angled roof, a uh, flat roof, <laughs> sorry. And then, uh, once that's a flat roof, you can just remove the wall. Then I change it back into a slanted roof. I just repaired this one. And for some reason, after changing that one roof, I didn't have to replace all the other ones. All I had to do was change it into a flat roof, get rid of the wall, and change it back into a slanted roof. So I'd probably suggest starting off with atomic shop roofs. If you don't have them, it's worth a try. So I'm just going ahead and do the rest of those. Then they went up top and I changed them all into the haunted roof because I really like how the leaves hang off the edge. Really fits for like a gazebo style, I think. We are gonna need to make a blueprint here for the posts. So I just put a wall off to the side and then I'm gonna go ahead to my floor decor and grab a rug. I'm gonna put that in the center cause that's where the posts snap in. Thank you to D Tactical for showing me this trick. I've used it so many times. 
It's also good if you have, um, you know, a floating camp and you want to make supports for it. So you just want to put the long post down that's on the bottom of the stairs and then put the smaller one on top. And we're going to go ahead and blueprint that. The rug, the long post, and then the short post. Before we can put those down, we have to go ahead and destroy those roofs again. And then just putting them on the corner. If you don't have merged foundations, you should be able to put this post anywhere. As long as nothing's blocking it on the top. But for some reason here, you just have to hang it over the edge a little bit. So I just went ahead and put them all around the gazebo. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of those top ones. Then you can go ahead and get rid of those rugs. Now I'm going to grab the flame trap from up top and destroy these posts. I'm going to go over to defenses and I'm going to grab these adorable hedge fences. They were pretty new. I hope you guys got them. And of course we have photo bombers. <laughs> Let me take care of those guys real quick. So I just went ahead and continued putting those down. And I was able to snap the iron fences into it really easy. At least the first time I did this, I was. <laughs> this, for some reason, uh, it didn't want to let me put these down in these two spots. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I was able to fix that in case it happens to you. Grabbed a flame trap and I destroyed both of them. It wasn't working for this one for some reason. It did snap into that one. So when I took a closer look at it, that post right there, I didn't put it in the center enough. I had, had it too far over to the left. So what I did was I had to store those fences, move the post over, and then redo it. And I snapped in really easy that time. And that's it. That's how you guys can build a gazebo. I'm going to show you how to do the little tips and tricks like the rock walkway and sinking flowers underneath the posts in some other videos. So I hope you guys subscribe so you can look out for those ones next. Thank you. Bye.